told you what a wonderful mother you are? Only once, when you were five, because I let you eat an entire pint of chocolate ice cream. I'm serious. You're sweet. You're getting very sentimental because you're moving to Atlanta. How'd you know that? Oh, the same way you know. To check on Emmett three seconds before he starts to cry. We're mothers. We just got that gene. Before I got pregnant, Johnny had practically packed his bags for Morehouse. Shouldn't I do my part to help him get there? You came in here to tell me what a great mother I am. Not that that makes me perfect, but it does kind of give me a green light to speak my mind. When have you not? Oh, so many times. Most recently, when I was speaking to Professor Cronin over at the university, who wanted to offer me a job. What job? A job teaching a class on race relations. Well, that's, that's great. Yeah, it would be. But it's not going to happen. Because when he asked me where I got my degree, I had to say, I don't have one. And the job disappeared. What difference does it make if you have a degree or not? You've practically lived that course. It doesn't make any difference because I never graduated from college. And college is a lot more than just a piece of paper. And I'm not saying that a Johnny shouldn't go to college. I'm just saying you better think long and hard before you put your own life on the shelf. No, 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 no. The, the agency said a spring quartet, and the wedding is not tonight, it's tomorrow. It's just a mistake, Renee. There's time to get your blood pressure in an uproar about that. Renee, fix this. Look, guys, we don't need a side I think the bouquet should go on the buffet. Mama wants it on the piano. Well, it can't go on the piano. The piano's not going to be there tomorrow. Ah! Now what? She sounds like she just found out the caterer is gay. <laughs> Mama? <gasps> what is it? That was a Waldorf salad. The salad was on the phone? No, no, no. Renee, that was a caterer. Listen, everything is going just as you planned. It's just that there was a small little problem with the Waldorf salad. Listen, Mama, it's, it's all right. All people ever really care about is the wedding cake anyway. Once they get a taste of that shortcake filling that you ordered, no one's going to even care about that silly old salad. The shortcake filling that I ordered? Oh, no, Mama, you didn't order the buttercream, did you? I didn't order a cake, Renee. You did. Oh, no, Mommy, you ordered the cake. No, I wanted to order a cake, but you wouldn't trust me because of the buttercream. <gasps> so there's no wedding cake? Oh, my God. What's the matter? My mother and my brother aren't speaking to each other. There are dead tulips in the living room and the Betty Ford marching band drooling in the foyer. At this rate, I'm going to have a sheet cake from the Piggly Wiggly and Snoop Doggy Dog singing Oh, Promise Me on the Boombox. Then let's elope. Elope? If that's the word for keeping the love of my life out of a straitjacket, yes, elope. Come on, Renee. What do you say? Rise and shine. Your mother called me today at the crack of dawn. She was so hysterical, I actually thought she was speaking in tongues. <gasps> oh, my God. What? What is it? I'm getting married today. Oh, for Pete's sake. Only that. I thought you were having another heart attack. Turk tried to talk me into eloping last night. I should have done it. You probably should have. <sighs> I'm so sorry you didn't get that job at the university. You wouldn't have had to do all of this. I did get it. I start Monday. Huh? You're giving me an honorary degree. I am so proud of you. This is one of your dreams come true. Yes, it is. And one of your dreams comes true today, and I am here to make sure, come hell or high water, that it does happen. Hell or high water came yesterday. All right, look, it's 9 o'clock. You have an hour and a half drive to Montgomery for an 11 o'clock appointment. If that only lasts for one hour, then you'll be back here by 2 o'clock, which is plenty of time for you to be dressed and ready when your guests arrive at 4. So get your ass out of bed. You've got a busy day. Not to worry. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. The florist has been called. The musicians are sober. Davis is on his way to the grocery store to get raisins, walnuts, and apples, even as we speak, because if Renee wants Waldorf salad for her wedding, she's gonna have it. Piece of cake. We don't have a cake, but we will. What are you doing? Calling my mother. I want her to bring every pan in the neighborhood over here and start that cake. Yo, mama doesn't bake well enough to bake a wedding cake. You know, there's a lot of things you don't know about my mother, and a lot of things she doesn't know about you. Perhaps today's the day to take care of that. Hello, mama. 
Come on, Teresa. Why can't you just let bygones be bygones and do me this one little favor? I will not tell Mom and Daddy you are going to California with me. They know you'd get out of the van as soon as we got to Atlantic City. Yeah, but California's nowhere near Atlantic City. Well, that's my point. Come sit. Why are you taking all these sweaters? It's hot in California. Because Miss Lana Turner was discovered wearing a tight sweater sitting on the counter at Schlub's Drugstore on Hollywood and Vine. And we both know I have just as much talent as she does. Probably more. You're not coming back, are you? Of course I'm coming back. Yeah, but not in two weeks. You're planning on staying. Well, don't tell anybody this, but I'll miss you. Don't make me cry, Mary Elizabeth. I can run away, too. Don't you dare, Mary Elizabeth. You have everything to live for here. If I stay in Birmingham, I'm going to become some old floozy housewife in flats and an apron. And if I know one thing for certain, it's that I look good in heels. And I'm going to wear them every day of my life. Yeah, but I could wear high heels too, but I would still be stuck here with a boyfriend who thinks that helping me take off my bra is supporting the women's movement. Well, a bra has to support something, doesn't it? Promise me you won't run away, Spaz. Your best friend Renee is here, and little Kalya loves you. Doesn't get much better than that. Would you really be comfortable being the first colored Miss Camellia contestant? I mean, after all, the Camellia is a beautiful flower. And it's white. It's also pink. I would be 